was it like being out there for that one? <laughs> oh, it was, it was a dream come true to be playing here. Um, and what a finish by the offense. What a finish. When did I, you find out that you were going to actually be the starter tonight? Uh, yesterday I did. Coach Stuyaki met with uh, the defense and then took the linebackers aside and, and told me. And I was, I was really excited for uh, the trust that he had in me and the, the trust that the, the players had in me. What was it like watching Jamal be out there? I mean, the defense had, you know, it was, it was rough overall, but, but watching him be able to carry the offense like that, score that many points. Jamal's a heck of a player. He's got so much fight in him, and we see it every day. It was awesome to see it on the field today, and I think he rushed for close to 300 yards. You know, that never happens. That was, that was quite a sight. What is it like playing games like this where you know that offense is going to go rack up the points, rack up the yards, What's it like for you as a linebacker to be out there trying to stop that? You just got to have a short memory. Uh, like you guys saw, we needed one stop. And Kainakua got it on that interception. That was amazing. I think that uh, gave us one more possession for Taysom and the offense to, to win the game for us. What's the feeling like to be able to, <laughs> to actually get on the winning side? All the work you put in, it's, it's an incredible feeling, a high that you can't describe. Jason, you guys rode Jamal a long way through that game, but in the end it was up to the offense to drive down. You guys said you had to take some of that responsibility. Tell us about the final drive, things that worked on that. It's what we do, uh, I, I guess. Um, you know, we knew there was going to be an opportunity for us to get a two-minute drive. We had a lot of time, three timeouts. And um, I think throughout the course of the game, we, we obviously could have thrown the ball around more, but um, when our run game was working the way it was, there was no need. Um, <clears throat> so we knew we need to make make plays, and, and our receivers stepped up. Colby, Colby ran a great route, and and uh, that post over the middle was huge to get us started. And then uh, we were off and running from there. A fake toss was that like a naked boot? What was the play call? On that? Um, yeah, well, I mean we've been running that play at him all all game, and in all my fakes, I've been peeking and seeing that the end's been crashing, and they've been overloading, and so. Um, we kind of had that in our back pocket throughout the entire game, and we we're saying just be ready, you know, for for you to keep one of these, and and uh, it came on that last drive, and um, it was big. Did you think about hurdling that guy at the end? No, I was just thinking. That, I don't know what I was thinking. Just get the first down, get out of bounds. I mean, at that point, we were in in uh, you know field goal range easily, and secure the ball, get around the edge, and and get out of bounds, and and. Uh, you know, we, we got down there and gave our, our kicker a great opportunity to win the football game. You've had some big rushing games yourself, but to watch Jamal break a 54-year-old record, yeah. you know, tonight. So much fun. I, I, I grabbed him after the game, and I just told him, like, it's been so much fun playing with you, seeing your success, and, and uh, I couldn't be happier for him, and, and the kid deserves it. He's worked so hard all last season, and, and he was such a fan to us and the rest of the team while – while we were all playing, um, you know, Jamal was, was having to watch, and, and uh, he, uh, he deserves everything that, that uh, he's gotten. Relatively light workload for you. Is that a good feeling to know that that rushing game's taking care of business for you? Yeah, I mean, it's nice. I, you know, after these games, my body feels, feels pretty good. Um, so I, I think we, we all know that um, it's there, and, and when I need it, then I can certainly do it. But... Um, there's no need to do it if we don't need to. Do you feel like you and the offense are finally hitting your stride and feel like you're you know, fully kind of hitting? Yeah, I, mean, I, I, don't, I don't want to speak, speak too soon, but we, we had a great night tonight. Um, and so the mentality for us offensively will, will be to score 55 points every game. You know, I, I don't anticipate getting this many possessions, you know, um, throughout the rest of the season. Toledo is a high-tempo offense. and. Uh, so we'll, we'll just see. We'll, we'll do our best to take advantage of every possession that we get, and we've been doing a really good job with that last couple of games. What was the message from Ty in the locker room after that second quarter where the offense kind of struggled a little bit? What was the message from him there? Uh, he just said everything's there. You know, we, we just got to execute at a higher level, and, and they did a good job pinning us down deep and, and kind of took away some of the stuff that we wanted to do offensively. So, um, you know, they, they played well, but... Um, we all looked at, each, at, each, at, at ourselves um, and each other in the locker room and said, man, we, we can do everything on this play sheet. We just need to execute, and, and that's what we did.
feel familiar to send the kicker out to win the game in the final seconds again it and did, just have yeah. to watch? Yeah, I mean, it, uh, <coughs> it, is, it is a little nerve-wracking. I, I certainly wish I would have scored on that scamper or Jamal would have found the end zone um, just to take the pressure off of him and, and all of us on the sideline. But, you know, with that being said, we knew that, uh, you know, Red's, Red's a great kicker and, and um, we felt really confident put it in his hands. Do you feel like your offensive line has finally gelled their probably working as a unit? Yeah, our line played great. You know, I, uh, Jamal certainly played extremely well, but um, he, he can't do it on his own. And those guys targeted really well, and they got on blocks, and, and that's all Jamal needs. And, um, you know, those, those guys are the real heroes. What was it like for Rhett? I mean, Kalani talked about how Rhett got benched at, at, in yeah. Arizona for some of the, you know, being a little bit, a little bit shaky there. What was it like for him to, you know, kind of vindication in that sense? I guess to be able to come in and game game winner. Yeah, I mean, you'll you'd have to ask him, um, but I, I think it was great. I saw him after the game and I gave him a hug, and and he was extremely happy. And um, for a kid to to go through that and then come back to have opportunity to showcase what he can do uh, in a venue like that was was pretty awesome, and just couldn't be happier for him. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Mike.